Now, the last point I, th I think I want to make is um, I actually didn't really know until reading this article um, last night that I didn't really know much about the, um, obviously, because it hasn't been shown in front of me and it's not in my history, of course, um, the uh, depopulation for so many, for such a length of time um, of, the, of the Indians under British, the British Empire. Um, and I actually started off when I was trying to figure out, um, more about who was in power, um, the British Empire, uh, and how they've played a part in, um, the real history and not the rewritten history, um, within the last 19th and, well, mostly the 19th and 20th century, um, and yeah, 21st century, well, kind of, I guess. Um, I was looking more into the second Boers War because I was looking at the vaccines and I was trying to find out where it came from and um, who, who, yeah, basically who was actually involved in the creation of vaccines and who actually was still perpetuating the use of vaccines, um, which was still the Perbright Institute Lord Purbright or Rothschild, um, and um, and the Wellcome Trust, which is um, was an American company company initially that introduced um, medicine chests in the Second Boers War in the concentra concentration camps that the British Empire used that were already previously used in India. Um, that uh, experimented with vaccines and gave uh, cho cholera, um, measles, uh, typhoid fever, stuff like that. Um, that was really the uh, origins of vaccines. Um, and the same, the same. Well, then, and institutes and things were formed um, under these very same people. <laughs> That help uh, that orchestrated the Second Boers War concentration camps and experimentation of, of vaccines um, to then you know um, implement other vaccines in other um, British Empire uh, colonies like Africa and and now you know uh, the world. So that's really interesting. Um, yeah, Richard Temple was appointed by Viceroy Lydon in 1875 to take charge of famine relief efforts in southern India, and by 1877 he was um, managing the concentration camps. The Ten Years' War, the, that Spanish-Cuban War, um, was next, followed by the British again, Pilgrim Society of Rothschilds. About three Rothschilds were involved, um, Rhodes and Milner, Cecil Rhodes, of course, is a big one. He is really the uh, the leader and initiator of the Pilgrim Society. Uh, so, Second Boers War, circa 1900, used the camps, um, the concentration camps that they had in Australia, also um, with uh, Boroughs, Welcome and Co's medicine chests. Uh, with the original vaccine shots to experiment with measles, cholera, and um, typhoid fever outbreaks uh, and dysentery. Uh, so we can deduce in the end that through the, this research, not done by me, this is I'm just purely reading off information that is publicly available online, um, that uh, vaccines, terrorism and famines seem to be tools that the British Empire used that are now being reused um, as we speak and will maybe reused in future also. Um, so uh, very, very interesting topics to have a look over that I suggest. Thanks, guys.